guys, Emerald Gypsy Heart here. We are now standing at the community college that I went to school at from 2002 to 2006, which is just blocks from my house. This was established in 1925, and these columns are from the original building. So in the background, this is the gymnasium, and it's been remodeled since I've left. So let's go around. There's some new buildings since I've graduated. So let's go see what we can find. The front of the gymnasium, like I said, it's been remodeled since I've come to school. Uh, like the portico here is new, etc. And then we have houses that they're getting ready to buy out and tear down. There are no dormitories here unless you're an exchange student. I went student. to school. Like I said, there are, dorm there are no dormitories unless you're an exchange student. So the houses that are here used to host our exchange students and we had a lot from Sudan. I don't know what the population of exchange students is like today, but that's what it was like when I was going here. This is the student union that we're walking up along the side of, but it will be moved. This is the original building. <clears throat> and if you're up on the second floor and a big truck goes by, the floor flexes. So you can feel the floor flex. And it, that's because it used to be the library. So I was saying this used to be the registration, registrar's offices up there. Then on this floor was the student union where student government is housed. And <clears throat> downstairs was the bookstore and students, uh, special needs students office. But we've discovered that the building is now closed and they have moved into the new building. So we'll get this there. This is the front of that building we were just by. They just redid all the windows in this building this past uh, spring, summer. And all of the entrances to the college now have these beautiful signs. The original one was in the circle back where we were at. It's called uh, Camp Hall, and it's the next building to go for the remodel. The side of what used to be the student union, when I went to school here, there was a building here, and it was called Lindgren Hall. It got teared, tore down to build that building, which is now the Science and Technology Center. In front of us is the library. It also houses uh, ESL and GED classes. And this is the clock tower. We used to be able to hear the clock tower when it would go off, but I guess they turned that feature off. Oh, oh there it goes. There it is. It used to be louder. Two o'clock. This is the newest building. Um, I haven't been in it yet. It's just been recently finished, I think this past year. But there was a building in its place, which was the nursing building. So this is supposed to house all of the admissions and so on and so forth. Eventually, in the center near the clock tower will be where they put the new student union. That's the new science building. I pointed that out earlier, but this rounded section here is a classroom. I, I think it's two, but I'm not sure. I've never had class. What in my day was called the EDC building. <clears throat> this used to be a full street. You used to be able to drive up and down it, but a lot of people uh, would speed through the intersections, etc. So they closed off the street. Well, the street down a few ways on um, U Street. <laughs> is supposed to be the new through fair and then Oops. this is a science experiment how the wilderness would take back over or reclaim the area all that used to be houses when i went to school here those were houses what i was when i went to school was called edc um now it's called washington hall and in it is our black box theater our small theater and our big theater where they do concerts and where during the Christmas season they do the Nutcracker. Next up, radio station. In the spring, right before graduation, people have been known to dress the statue in bras and panties. So it's kind of a graduation prank. The main hall, Tuwa Hall, is used as an art gallery. 
for our students. And there's our box office. And if you go through those doors, you will be on the first level of the theater. And then there's this beautiful grand staircase that leads to the second floor of the theater. Behind the stage, we have our green room. And things like this. And then there are more pictures on the side. It's also got our building workshop, which is down the hall. And the, I don't know if he's still here or not, but the guy that is the head of the theater build shop worked on the movie Gremlins 1 and 2. This is inside the theater, backstage. Sets are built. Again, the original teacher used to be in movie production. This is my favorite part of this building. Um, our television station is to our left here and we probably can't get into it. Oh, the studio's open. I don't want to go in, I think there's a class. Oh, let's go say hi. A production room here at our station. And we have, you know, obviously computer. Um, this used to host where we could do lines and carts, and I'll show you if they still have any in the station. And we have a mixing board, and we have three of these. One is used as what's considered the newsroom. I spent a lot of time in Here's here. Here's another sound deck. Um, when you're training, you record your shift um, so that you can be critiqued by the instructor who was in the other room uh, in the television station. So, and then, like I said, this is the newsroom, so you have a direct line of sight into the station itself. This is where I trained, and that's the computer I trained on. For the radio station. They don't have any more light. Yeah, they, no, they don't. Oh, this is where our readings are taken up here and up here. And this is the soundboard for that. Now, when I was going to school here, it was just one screen. Now it's two. <laughs> so, and we were just in that room, like I said, which is the newsroom. The actual storage room for the equipment to run the station is in this door. And that's where you do your station programming from. And I used to be a programmer. One of three or four art studios. This used to be the newspaper. I don't know what it is now. Um, well, that doesn't help me. <laughs> so, and then there's artwork that's done on the walls here. Not on the walls, but displayed. <clears throat> I never had the chance to do one of these. It wasn't my specialty. That one looks like an alien. Uh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, that used to be the blue and gold. Now, now it's an ESL lab. Do they not have a student newspaper anymore? Tax and ESL labs. Hmm. We're going to make a full circle. Um, this is the elevator that lets us up onto the second deck of the theater. I used to be T.R. Gratz's office, who was our production assistant for the uh, theater. Talking about when we made, so we've basically made a full circle. And uh, this is the, what they call the grand staircase. <clears throat> and then out across the way again, those used to be, that used to be nothing but houses. And then we're not going to actually go in the building that's over there, that's the engineering department. And what's really funny is that our radio station tower is on top of that building. The problem with that is, is that building is the lowest part of the campus. So. Gypsy Hearts tour of Centralia College in Centralia, Washington. By 2020 or 2022, they plan to make this a four-year university. So I can't wait to see how that goes. So be good, stay out of trouble, don't do anything we wouldn't do. And please, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment. What do you want to see in Centralia, Washington? Bye, guys.